Hi guys, I have a little issue here with my system. Something that I need a bit of clarification of what's going on. Um, yeah, if you have any answers, just post your comments below. So what's what seems to be happening? Um, well, I'll start with the beginning. I've got two two panels: the hundred watt, the hundred watt, and the uh, hundred and twenty watt. One is a twelve volt, the hundred watts. And the 120 watts is a 24 volt. The 100 watt panel is it's fine, working fine. It's going through the roof there. It's going straight into the grid eye, and that then gets exported to the grid. So this is here. This is what I've got there at the moment, going out 62 watts. Temperature is 26 degrees um, and uh, that seems to be working fine which I can measure the EMS here so I get 4 amps at the moment that's from the 100 watt 12 volt panel so they're both both the same obviously this one I've got you now 5 amps as you went, I've got almost almost 70, 70 watts going. Uh, it's a bit cloudy outside. That's cool. That works fine. Um, I get up to 110 watts, 120 watts sometimes um, out of a, the 100 watt panel. That's really when the temperature is about 20, 25 degrees and it's the sun is full on. Um, Okay, but my my issue is with the 100 and 120 watt panel, which is the 24 volt. So how I've got this one, that one set up, um, that's going straight into the power charge control, the Xantrax here, and from there it's charging my uh, my battery bank, which is a, a 24 volt battery bank now. Yeah, if I yeah I get at seventy watts, that's fine with a hundred watts. But the this one, the the, the twelve volts, the twenty four volt, the system is set up at twenty four volts. The whole system, the grid tie is set on twenty four volts, and uh, not the grid tie, sorry, the power charge control, and the battery bank is twenty four volt. The solar panel is twenty four volt. So they all set properly, set up properly on twenty four volt. So that's not an issue, but. Look, if I take the measurement of, uh, I, I get probably just about an amp from the panel. When the 12 volt, I get 5 and a bit, almost 7 amps. And this one I get nothing. 6.7 of an amp. So that's this why I see the, the panel that comes straight in here, that's straight from the panel, that's before it goes into the charge controller. Um, and this I'm gonna measure now the amps on the on the cable that goes from the charge controller to the batteries which gives me a bit of an amp. 1.1, 1.2 amps. So that's what I get, and as you can see, the, it's not charging well. I just reset it recently, so um, yeah, it's not charging the batteries. It's just um, that's the battery bank voltage is on 23, 23.4 volts. 23.6 um, and yeah it doesn't seem to normally I get where it says amps over there I get one two three four um, and then obviously it will be accordingly how many watts but that's it's kind of I, I should have gotten a, at least Three, four amps. When having in mind that this one, the twelve volt, gives a nice um, 
5 amps and with this one I get 0 um, yeah I'll keep an eye on it to see I haven't done many measurements when it was working but now um, I it just it's weird if I disconnect the um, cables from bef uh, from the charge control and I take the measure the voltage uh, I get 24, 25, 26 volts coming from the panels but then from the panel but then when uh, as soon as I connect it back to the charge controller it drops to about 10, 11 volts so that's where my concern is why uh, since since I get tw uh, tw 24 volts from the panels once connected to the um, charge controller why does it drop to 12 volts that's why that, to 10 11 volts that's where my concern is if, if you have any answers on that that would be great um, yeah I did a bit of research online not much luck with that so I'm trying to do a video to see if that makes any sense if you need extra uh, if you have any extra questions about the setup ask me or if you have a straight answer that would be great but at, that, at this stage I'm struggling to find what the issue is I had some D, um, all the cable, the, the wires coming from the panels I used I had them through a um, connect through a disconnect through some um, AC fuses and I thought maybe that's the resistance in there will uh, make the power to, to, to lose power so I took those off and I just connected straight I don't have any fuses between the charge controller and the the actual the panels so I will implement some sort of um, fuses later on but I just want to make sure it's it's working fine now so yeah let me know if you have anything if you if you can help with any any clues any hints for me thanks for watching and I'll let you all know how I went once I get it all running properly again. Um, by the way, I've got this IP camera here, which is live 24/7 on the system. So what you can see right now on the screen, you can see that online on my website. I'll put a link down below. You can always see whenever you get on my website to how the system is running. So we um the website is <coughs> dashoni.com which as I said I'll put a link below to to have a look. Um thanks for watching. See ya.